Hey everybody, Matthew Doyle for Autodesk Gameware here today with a very short tutorial to show you how to use the Scaleform Click Drag Manager as well as the Scaleform Click Drag Slot components to easily create a drag and drop inventory type system. Now this tutorial is only going to cover the very basics of how that's done and it's up to you to figure out how to use that in a much more detailed version of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, obviously I'm in my flash editor here and the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our class path set up so you go to edit preferences action script action script 3 settings and just make sure in your source path you have the uh, location of your AS3 click libraries and that should be found obviously in your scale form SDK install under resources slash AS3 slash click alright so now that we've got that the first thing we want to do is to create a drag slot this will be the slot that allows you to drag items to and from it and uh, just for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to create something really quick using a vector shape and I'll just draw a square on the stage here and I'm gonna size my square to fit the icons that I'm going to use in this case I'm going to go into the properties and change the width to 55 and the height to 63 now we'll right click on that square convert to symbol and we'll call this drag slot and we're gonna click on export for action script and where it says class we need to type in scale form dot click that's CLIK dot controls dot drag slot that's a capital D and a capital S and we're gonna empty out the base class field leave that blank and press OK and uh, now that we've got that, we're going to make sure we have this drag slot selected on the stage. And in the properties panel, we're going to give it an instance name of drag me, little d, capital M. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and duplicate that now. So just control C, control V. We'll have a second drag slot right here. And uh, I'm just going to change this to drag me too. All right. Next thing we need to do is actually have an icon that we can drag between these slots. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on File, Import, Import to Stage, and uh, any icon will do. I'm going to use a little scale form icon I created here. All right, and uh, that's way big, so we're just going to go ahead and size it down to fit my drag slot. So I'm going to change my width to 53.50 and my height to 63.50. That should fit a little bit better. We'll line it up there. Yep, fits great. Okay, now we'll convert that to a symbol as well. We'll call this uh, SF logo. Again, we're going to click Export for Action Script. And we're going to leave everything as it is here. So that's little SF, capital L, and logo. And we're going to leave the base class as a movie clip and press OK. We can actually delete that from the stage now. We don't need that anymore. So if we click on the library panel, we can see we have our drag slot and we have our logo icon that will be used to drag between the slots. Okay, and so the next thing we need to do is add some action script code to the stage to make it all work. So I'll click the new layer button. We're going to change that layer name to actions. Click on the first keyframe. I'm going to press F9 to bring up my actions panel. Okay, and in this panel, I'm going to use the first drag slot I created. The instance name of that is drag me. All right, and then we're going to type dot content equals new SF logo open and close parentheses semicolon so basically we're telling it that we want that drag slot to have the icon SF logo in our library and that should do it so we'll save this and we're gonna go ahead and launch it now using the scale form launcher alright so we can see here we have our two drag slots one of them already has the icon that we want to be able to drag from it so I'll just click on it you can see now I can drag it around if I let go it drops back into the original drag slot. However, if I drag over to the second slot and release, it stays there. And I can take it back to the first one. I can continue to play with it like this. And we can see that it always snaps to a spot if it doesn't have an actual uh, drag slot underneath it. So that's it. That's how you create a drag slot using Scaleform. Very easy using the click components. Again, uh, you know, obviously you're going to want to take this to the next level and create a much more detailed system so thanks for watching this short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll try to get some more out to you as soon as we can, and we'll see you next time.